Hi, I'm Brett. This is our part three update of the XC Power Kit for the Lancer Rally Art. Now, previous videos, we've spoken about what components go into us and the difference between the twin scroll Evo 10 Turbo, the single scroll Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art Turbo, which was replaced, and the components to what we need to do to modify the air intake. I, check, I suggest you check out those previous videos. But in the meantime, what we're going to do today is talk about the final run, what you can expect from a power improvement, and how the cars worked on the dyno. And what you can see in the engine bay is an incredibly standard looking engine bay with the garnish on the top, the original factory compressor hose. The only real obvious thing is the modified GFB uh, adjustable blow valve, but all the critical stuff is buried down in behind there, which you'll see in our previous videos where we've modified the air intake off the turbo to suit the new Mitsubishi Evo 10 package of parts it's fitted. So the car's had the dyno graph, Oh, this is a dyno graph. It's had the dyno done, with which is the custom tune. We're going to take it back out on the road and then do um, the final fine tuning on the road. Remembering we've still got to do the modification and the custom programming of the SST transmission. I'd suggest you check out our video where I spoke about that in our last video. And then we can deliver the car back to the customer. So um, the dyno graph, proof in the pudding. Um, the end result is an incredibly flat torque curve because it's all about the torque. So effectively this car has gone from uh, 310 Newton meters at 3200 RPM to 420 Newton meters at 3000 RPM. So it's actually got more torque earlier, but if you compare the actual torque before and after factory standard, it's actually got the same torque now at 2500 RPM that the car had at 3,200 RPM, because effectively over here is what the car has got standard, and you translate across the list. So you can see how much earlier the twin scroll turbo comes on boost, and then we have a nice flat torque curve, because we don't want to run any more boost, so that's what flattens out the torque curve here. And then you'll find at high RPM, around 4,600 RPM, the turbo starts battling to keep up with engine RPM, and the torque falls off, and the power continues to rise. So let's talk about the increase in power, because everybody wants the pub argument of how much power this car's got. So at 5,200 RPM, which is peak power on the factory standard car, we're talking around 145 kilowatts. Well, now this car at 5,600 RPM has got 222 kilowatts measured at the hubs, which is a huge increase in power. So what's it feel like on the road? Well. It actually feels quicker than an Evo 10 with the same level of modifications. Because you've got to remember the Lancer Rally 8 is actually a little bit lighter than the Evo 10. The body is completely different. And there is other components in this car that makes it feel a little bit different as well. The engine, as we've spoken before, very, very similar package of parts. Although the Lancer Rally Art base engine in the 4B11 is a little bit different technically to the Evo 10. And of course the SST transmission technically is a little bit different as well. But at the end of the day, fantastic upgrade, fantastic power and performance, and of course comes with our factory warranty guarantee for those of you who still manage to own one of these cars has still got some factory warranty left in it here in Australia. And of course, all the components we fit come with our lifetime warranty as well. So check out the dyno graph that we'll load with this video. Go to the website and download the power kit document, which is a PDF download page that you can get when you put in your year, make and model. Um, on the drop down menu, you'll see on the left hand side, it shows you the models that have got listed linked with the power kit documents. And of course, that will show you even more information about the components that go into this kit and why you can expect the different levels of power upgrades through the stage upgrades, XA, XB and XC. But for now, I'm Brett Middleton. I really hope this video has helped you uh, learn more about your Lancer Rally Art. Wherever you are in the world, we'll be in touch soon. Bye for now.